And that's the substance that I was talking about. So what about transport, transportation, mobility, automotive? Now, if you were with us for CES 2022, then you got to experience the shiny brand new West Hall, which is pictured here. And it's still very, very new, and it definitely is still super cool and cavernous, but this is where you'll find all those transportation uh, exhibits. And under that roof, we're gonna see really three key technology themes. And the first one is this, is, is of course, we're gonna see more electric vehicles, but as equally important is how the electrification ecosystem is evolving. Now, what does that mean? Well, what I'm talking about is advancements in battery chemistry, battery design, also charging systems. How are these things coming forward? Because having more electric vehicles is one thing, and that's how we grow the market, more EVs, more price points, different shapes and sizes for different customers and consumers. But it's also equally important to see how battery technology, how is range getting, uh, how are we able to drive further on a charge, how, how what's happening with fast charging and so forth. So we'll get to see that. Second is really the advancement of autonomy. We've been talking for years and years about self-driving vehicles, haven't we? But now we're starting to see autonomy really earnestly move beyond passenger vehicles. And I would put it the salient of that narrative are self-driving trucks. I talked earlier about a labor shortage, not just a US thing, a global thing. We just can't hire enough skilled workers like truck drivers. And here in the States, according to the American Trucking Association, by the year 2030, we will have here again in the United States a shortage of 160,000 truck drivers. How are we gonna close that gap? Technology has the answer. So self-driving trucks, very important. We're delivering a lot of stuff online. We'll probably do even more in the metaverse. And so all this has gotta get delivered somehow. Humans are the nice to have. Technology has the answer. We'll see it over at West Hall. And third is the transformation of the in-vehicle experience. And there's so much to unpack here. I need another slide, so let's go to the next one. And this is what I'm talking about. And just taking a look at this slide, you get what I mean when I say screenification. You get what I'm talking about when I say screenification. Yeah, incredible. So a lot more screens, the full breadth of the dash. It's like, yeah, I see your big screen in the center stack, and I raise you a whole, whole screen across the entire dash and more in the back. So we, we start to layer in 5G connectivity, B to X connectivity. Uh, really what I'm saying is the vehicle cabin is really a, a nexus for so many different technology trends. Uh, and they're, they're coalescing and we have this convergence, this confluence of trends that are happening. We used to talk about entertainment a lot in, in the vehicle. Well now, cars are becoming marketplaces. And not just for the passengers, but also the driver. When you think about voice control. The old way is I order my latte from Starbucks on my app, they're working on it, I'm gonna go pick it up. The new way is using voice control and services to order that latte while you're, I could really use a latte, hey. And order that while you're driving using voice control and it's waiting for you when you arrive. So the, the vehicle becoming a marketplace, but also another new trend, features as a service. Features that you've, you've heard about paying a subscription fee for your heated seats. Will that be the tip of the iceberg? I don't know, we're gonna find out. And maybe some of the vehicle OEMs here at CES 2023 will have something to say about that. But it's entirely possible as recurring revenue becomes increasingly important to industry players, not just in, say, the wireless industry, but also automotive, might the AM, FM radio that we all might have taken for granted by this time become a subscription service. If you want that, you have to pay a monthly fee. Again, I don't know, and I'm not saying it will, but features as a service is definitely an emerging trend we'll learn more about at CES 2023. So I've said a lot there, but just to kind of encapsulate this, I mean, electrification, yes, but the point I want to make on this slide with electrification is not just land-based vehicles, but vehicles, you know, yes on land, but also in air with rise, and their elect personal electric VTOL, which they'll be giving demos of that outside of West Hall in the Platinum lot. So you'll actually be able to see this thing fly, which is gonna be really cool. And then of course, Candela is here with their electric hydrofoil watercraft, which is also cool, and the coolness factor needs no explanation. I mean, that thing looks awesome, and it's, it's available for sale. But they're here, and you can check it out uh, at CES. 
And of course, sensor innovation of all kinds, optical sensors, certainly LiDAR. If you're an electrical engineer, then you know that a lot of this innovation centers around solid state architectures. And vehicle performance, different tier ones, uh, shape changing body panels potentially, and, and, and grills like the Meza Plus from, from Magna as another example. And to talk a lot about this, we've got not one, but two automotive and transportation focused keynotes, one from BMW, one from Stellantis. Definitely want to put these on your, your calendar, your diary uh, to check out because they're going to have a lot to say about the future mobility between these two mega brands in automotive.